I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from the test paper of my student. Now here is the most important question in the test paper which makes huge difference. It is a bonus question. Now I had uploaded this video two days before the test and the student got this question perfectly fine that gave her bonus points three to get 100% marks in this test paper. Now let us look into this question in details. I will actually not provide you with the solution here since a similar question is already solved in my videos. So I'll provide you with a link, right? So the question here is, when the rules of hockey were developed, Canada did not use the metric system. Thus, the distance between goalposts was designated to be six feet. If Sidney Crosby is on the goal line, three feet outside one of the goal posts, how far should he go out perpendicular to the goal line to maximize the angle in which he can shoot at the goal, right? So I'd like you to pause the video, read the question, rather copy, understand, and then try to solve this. Once you're solved, look into my suggestion. Now let's understand what the situation is. So in this particular case, let us assume that that is our goal line, right? This is the goal line in which we have a goal which is six feet. So from here, let us say that is six feet, right? That is six feet. And Sidney Crosby, our star player, is right there, three feet away. So this is three feet away. Now the question here is, how far should he go out perpendicular to the goal line to maximize the angle in which he can shoot at the goal? So that is, that is the goal for us, right? Now how far means he has to come this side. As he moves in this side, the angle of shooting increases. Do you see that part? So that is the question. So how far could he go? So this distance x we need to find so that we could maximize this angle. Do you get the idea? We need to maximize this angle. That is the question for us. So we need to maximize this angle theta. And we need to find what is this value of x. Correct? So that is how you should be looking at this question. Now the strategy here is we can use tan A minus tan B formula. See this angle could be treated, for example, as angle alpha, right? And we could say this angle is angle beta, right? In that case, we can write equation in terms of, let us first write down what is tan alpha and what is tan beta, right? So tan alpha is equals to this big triangle, right? Let us say the triangle is A, B, C. Let's say this point is D for us. So tan of alpha, this angle, will be opposite over adjacent. That means 6 plus 3, 9, right? The whole length is 9. So which is AC over CD, right? That is tan of alpha over CD, which is indeed equals to 9 over X, right? And what is tan beta? Tan beta, the smaller angle, is 3 over x or you could say bc over cd right which is 3 over x now we want relation for tan theta and maximize theta right so what is tan theta tan theta could be written as tan of b alpha minus beta right alpha minus beta right and you know the formula for this which is tan a tan b right you remember that one so it is tan alpha minus tan beta divided by 1 plus tan alpha times tan beta, right? Now in this expression, you can substitute tan alpha and tan beta with 9 over x and 3 over x, correct? So you get your equation in terms of x, which we need, right? And we have theta here. Then you can differentiate both sides with respect to x. So when you differentiate both sides with respect to x, you get d theta dx, right? And square, I mean, secant square theta is a derivative of tan theta, correct? And that derivative of tan theta has to be maximized. That means you're finding a critical value, 
right? So then you equate d theta dx to zero, right? So then in this expression, you could find the first derivative. Now the steps are find the first derivative, right? And then equate it to zero, right? So equate that to zero. That means d theta over dx and equate this to zero. Once you equate this to zero, you will get critical numbers. And then analyze your critical number, whatever you get, analyze your critical number. So if it changes from increasing to decreasing, you know we have maximum at that critical number. So that is the base for solution. But I'm providing you with a link which will give you complete solution in details for a similar question. I hope that will surely help you. Thank you and all the best.